So we're gonna give you a rundown on the B5S4 compound setup and the way it works. These are a little complicated and not seen very often in the gas world. They're really popular in the diesel world because the diesels can handle those extremely high boost pressures. Um, this system will run around 60 PSI of boost, whereas in the diesel world, they would probably run identical turbos in this system upwards of 100 PSI. So kind of you run out how it works. So we have the large turbo, which in the compound world would be called the low pressure turbo. And then we have the small turbos, which in the compound world are called the high pressure turbos. It kind of makes things a little confusing because the lingo is a little backwards there. So we'll just talk about this in terms of low or small turbos and large turbos. So the way it works is the inlet is on the large turbo and the large turbo will compress air. And this turbo will then force the air off and into the small turbos, which will then compress the air again. And then from there, they will go to the outlets and into the intercooler, and just like any other system. And then the way the exhaust is routed is completely opposite of the cold side. So the exhaust will go through the small guys, and then it will go together and into the big guy and out the downpipe. So the reason you route it this way is you want to be able to bypass the small turbos. So once these guys hit a certain level of boost, they do become a restriction. So we will be adding waste case to these that will bypass the small turbo and allow it to feed the big turbo still. So the idea behind the setup is to be able to get the big guy going and get him into boost um, without that huge amount of lag. So the small guys are going to help pick up that power, and get some air into the system, get some exhaust gases flowing to help the big guy take off at higher RPMs. My hopes for the system is that we can hit this guy at full boost by 6,000 RPM. That'll give us roughly 3,000 RPM of big turbo action. Um, the setup will be capable 1,400 wheel. We're looking to just make a thousand wheel, kind of get things dialed in and kind of see how she holds up. Um, it'll be a bit of a test in the chassis and a lot of things are gonna break, suspension, drivetrain, all that stuff. So we'll see how it all holds up. Oh, you can? Yeah. Beauty. That's a great way, is it? <laughs> Just got the turbines spinning backwards. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool on camera.